Hi guys, welcome to Palm Closet. Today I'm going to be showing you how to crochet a pineapple how to top. What you will need. First of all, the crochet hook, 4mm. I always use these gold um, needles because it's suitable for this kind of yarn. It's a cotton yarn from Germany, the Grundel brand. So 50 grams per ball, 115 meters, an Echo Tech standard, which is very um, friendly for the skin and environment. And the needles number is three to four. So we will need the uh, crochet, the yarn needles, a pair of cutter, the tape measure and some stitch markers. To start with, I would like to ask you to go back to see how I did the bra cups on the this item that I have put on the pictures, which is how to crochet the crochet bralette. So how I do the brass copy is exactly the same. I'm making the small side top today. So you will need the measurement of this bust. I have the size chart of my palm closet. So today I'm going to be making size small. Bust is 34 inches. So we need to divide it by four. So that would be 8.5 inches and that is the measurement of the, this part here. This is the, the bra cups under the breath. So I have measured this part to this the other part. It's around 8.5 inches and I have ended up with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 rows. So please go back to see the video of how I made the bra cups and then we will um, starting from there. I have now two bra cups done and I still have the end in, I haven't cut it. So we need to start from the right, right bra cup. So what you need to do is change three. So I have now chain one, I chain two, three. And then to get another bra. So you need to attach these two bras together. I will insert a crochet hook on the third, third change. And then you just pull the yarn through chain one and then I'll cut this off. So now we have the two bras connected. Like this. I still have this left end. I will leave it like this for now, so we need to do the pineapple section by grabbing the yarn we have just cut and we need to reconnect it. I will start from the right, right hand bras. So this is on my right, right cup and you will start from the one, two, the third chain. So I will insert a crochet hook Pull the yarn through, leave the ends for sewing later. I prefer to sew the ends in so it's more secure and they're very um, tight so when you wash it they, they don't come out. And here my left, let's position the bras to the right side, here's the right side. And we need to chain one. And then you do double crochets on the, so you remember you change three, so one, two, three, I will go to the middle change, 
and then two, do two double crochets in the same stitch. And change two, do two more double crochets in the same stitch. Chain one, two double crochet, chain one, two double crochet in the same stitch and then chain one and then you need to go to the other side of the bra so I will go to one to the third change and then slip stitch and then you slip one stitch on the side and then do one more so you slip two stitch two stitches and chain two you turn the work do two double crochets in the middle of these fans I call this fan two double crochets two chains two double crochets the same stitch and then two chains as same as the other side now you need to go back to you skip one stitch go to the next stitch slip stitch so row two is complete now you need to slip one two so this time you change three to end the work do two double crochets and change two two more double crochet in the same stitch and this time we need to change three the same as the other side skip one go to the next one and then slip stitch slip one more stitch and slip one more stitch and then change three so in the work so you have now three fans we need to do two double crochets in this stitch, change two, two more double crochets in the same stitch. So this time we need to change three. And then in the same stitch you do two, uh, two double crochets. Two chains, two more double crochets. So that would be two sets of the fence in the middle of this part. So you can see this is the one fence, and in between is three chains, and this is another fence. So one fence I always go with the two double crochet, and then we need to chain three. Same as the other side, always skip one, go to the next one with the slip stitch and then slip two more stitches, chain three, turn the work. So now you have one, two, three, three fans and this one we're expanding the, the pineapple base. After three chains you just go for two double crochets in the same, same stitch, two chains, two double crochets, now chain three and in the middle of this part here we need to change obviously one two three we need to chain seven seven double crochets one two three four And then chain three and repeat the other side. 
and repeat this part here. So by doing the two double crochets, two chains, two double crochets in the same stitch. And then three chains for the side. So for the one, two, three, four, five, the fifth row, you will end up having something like this. After three chains, you skip one, you go to the next one, slip stitch one, slip stitch two, slip stitch three, change three, turn the work, do two double crochets in the same stitch, two chains, two double crochets, and then chain three. So we are now at the base of the pineapples. So we need to do the double crochets, chain one. And then the next stitch, double crochet, chain one. Double crochets, chain one. On top of each double crochet from the previous row. So you will end up having the seven of them. And it's uh, one chain in between. So seven of these half double, uh, seven of these double crochets, and then you chain three. You do two double crochets on the side, two chains, two double crochets. three chains because we need to reach the other side of the bra cup and skip one go to the next one you skip two more slip stitch two more and then change three turn the work do two double crochets two double crochets and then change two two more double crochets and then chain three. So now we need to slip stitch on the first, the first, um, the first gap between the two double crochets. Um, after slip stitch and chain three, go to the next gap, slip stitch, chain three, next gap, slip stitch, chain three next one slip stitch chain three next one just repeat and this is the last gap so you will end up having the one two three four five five little crowds here on top of the double crochets um, these so we are now making the pineapple in the middle of the, the between the two bra cups here. So for the side, we need to just repeat the same as the other side by chain three, do two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets in the same stitch, and chain three for the side. You skip one, you slip stitch one, slip stitch twice, slip stitch third time, and chain three, turn back the work. Basically, just on the sides, just repeat the previous rows. Now, two double crochets in the same stitch, two chains always, two double crochets. And to reach the pineapple part, you need to chain three, 
So now we need to slip stitch on the first crowd here. Slip stitch and chain three. Slip stitch in between the crowd. Chain three. Slip stitch in the next one. Chain three. Slip stitch. Chain three. And the last one. So this time you will end up having one, two, three, four of the crowds left. So we start to decreasing the little crowd here. The first first crowd, this row you have five, this this one you have four. And repeat the size by chain three, two double crochets, two chains. Two double crochets the same and then change three and on the side skip one you slip one slip two slip three then chain three turn the work so on the sides it's basically the same now we chain two more and two chains Two double crochets and chain three before you reach the pineapple part and slip stitch on the first crowd chain three slip the second one chain three slip chain three slip chain three so this time you end up having three more left. Three more of these little loops here, little crowd. And after chain three, you just move on to the next. Next fans here. Two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets. And then chain three before you reach the side. So attaching to the bra cups. Slip one, go to the skip one stitch, go to the next one, and then you slip once, slip twice, slip the third one, change three, turn back the work, repeat the side fans, and do two double crochets, change two, two double crochets. Now we need to reach the pineapple part again, so just chain three on the side, slip the first loop, three chain slip the second one, chain three, slip the third one, and you will have now two, two of these little loops little crowd here and for the side just the same chain three two double crochets chain two two double crochet in the same stitch chain three and on the side skip one you slip stitch on the second second chain and slip two more. Now chain three, turn back the work, repeat the size fans, and two double crochets, two chains, two double crochets, and chain three. So we need to slip same, so now we have two more and you change three, you slip. So this is the last, this is the top of the pineapple. Now you need to complete the side by chain three. Do the size with two double crochets. Chain two. Two more double crochet in the same stitch and change three on the size always the same 
skip one, go to the next one, skip one, skip two, um, I mean slip one, slip two, and chain three, turn the work, and now we need to just repeat on the side, two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets in the same stitch and chain three. So this time we have the last crow left which is going to slip stitch and chain three to complete the side. So the pineapple section is finished but we still need to complete the other part. So chain two two double crochets and chain three so you skip one go to the next one and then slip stitch one slip stitch and then one more so this one here you will see you have the two bra cups on the side and you have the pineapple section in the middle now you need to turn the work. So after you complete the pineapples, you have something similar to this. And for the side, I need to, now we need to do the two double crochets on this part here on the, on the stitch. So two double crochets and change two, two double crochets in the same stitch and then change. So after you've done three, three chains, I will need to add more fans in the, between this part here. So we do two double crochets, two chains, two double crochets, so you're adding one more fans on the, on the side here, and then chain three, and repeat this, chain two always, do two more double crochets. So you will end up having three of these fans on the side. Now we have completed the crow, so we need to just change three. So you go over to the next fan. There's nothing to, to do on this section. Two double crochets, two chains two double crochets and we need to repeat the other side which is to two more fans by changing three and do the two double crochets two chains two double crochets and three chains so now we need to go to this stitch by doing two double crochets, two chains, two double crochets on this one. And look at on the side here you have, this is the middle of the bra cup, so on this side I will go to the one next to the middle of the bra cup. So you will have one stitch before the middle point of the bra. And this one is also the same. Now you need to chain one, turn the work, and just do the slip stitch once, slip stitch twice to start the new row. And now repeat 
repeat the row we have just done by chain 3, 1 double crochet, chain 2, 2 double crochets and chain 3 so basically just repeat the previous row 2 double crochets, chain 2 between the fans always chain 2 I mean this part here chain 2 and then you chain 3 to start the new fan change two so I will repeat this row until I reach the last the last fence just before I keep going with the next row so I need to check up on the the, um, the stitches or the pattern so you will have something similar to this the pineapple section it's in the middle cups um, based on the left and the right so to keep going after this row you just need to turn the work and then you slip I will slip the second second stitch and I'll slip one more in the middle of these fans chain three do one more double crochets two chains, two more double crochets in the middle part so and then this time we need to change two because the first row we change three so we need to reduce this part by chain two two double crochets chain two Two double crochets in the same stitch and in between the fans you just need to change two because the previous row you change three here change three here change three here change three here so this row we need to change only two and then just keep going with the fans with um, until you reach the last row and then repeat this row one more time so after you've done this row and you do one more row and I will meet you at the end of the and at the end you will have something similar to this turn the work slip one stitch slip the second stitch chain three do one more double crochets chain two two double crochets and this time you need to chain one and move to the fan so the rest of the row in between the fans is just one change so I will do one change in between the fans and I will meet you at the end of this row at the end of the row you just need to chain one slip one stitch slip another one chain three do one double crochets chain two two more double crochets so this time we're not gonna add any chains you just move over to the Expand by doing the two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets. So keep repeating this until you reach the last fan. There's no chains in between, just move over to, to the next chain, so to the next fan. So I will meet you at the end of the last fan. At the end of the row, you need to turn the work. So this time we're gonna do the single crochets. I will do one single crochet on the next stitch, one in the middle of this fan. 
So basically, in every single stitches, just do single crochets until you reach the last stitch. So far, I have the top like this, and we need to do the strings for the um, top part, and then we get back to the bottom part of this bra. Binding the strings, you just need to keep continue um, doing the chains. So I will chain up to 100 and then I will just do single crochets or on the way back. So I can show you for example, after you do 100 chains, you just uh, skip one and you do the second change and do the single crochets all the way around to until you reach reach this this part here and you cut off the yarn and weave in all the ends and do the other part on this side as well you just basically um, it's a the crochet hook through, pull the yarn through, tie it, chain up to 100 and then repeat the same as the other side, just doing single crochet in every chain, in every stitches until you get back to the same part where you started and then cut off the yarn, seal in all the ends and then I will, I will, I can show you the bottom part of this bra cups before I keep going with the strings for the top. So basically I still have the yarn left. So make sure you work from the right side of the top, not the wrong side. So the right side looks more beautiful. And by doing the base, the base of the top. So very simple. Just do two single crochet in each of these double crochet rows. And keep going until you reach the end of the, the other side. So once you reach here, you remember you change, you change three between, in between from the beginning. So you just do one double uh, single crochet here, one single crochet, one single crochet, and the rest just two single crochet in each of these double crochets till you reach the last stitch, and then you chain one, you turn back the work, and then repeat the single crochets until you reach the other side, and then do the strings for this side as well. So I will go for 100, exactly the same. On the way back, just do the single crochets, and I will meet you after you've done all these. And the tops is completed. I have done the strings for the top, and this bottom part here with the two single crochet rows. Also, the straps, the strings for the back. And here you have the pineapples, stitches in the middle. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed the tutorial. These tops is size small, so it would fit the bus size um, for 30, 32, 34 inches. You can wear this item with any top skirts, bottoms. On the hot days, it's very beautiful details in the middle part here so don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel I have many more designs to come in the future and if you have any comments just leave it down at the bottom and I will get back to you when I can I will see you in the next video